hello everyone. It is Thursday and welcome to ProLine Daily live from Las Vegas. I'm John Cranton, joined by world champion handicapper Jim Feist. Going to talk about some NBA action for Thursday night as well as some baseball. First, Jim, you have a big play going tonight. Another one in the NBA. You had one last night, your NBA TV showdown. That was the San Antonio Spurs despite the injury to Parker. That was a no-sweat cover, part of a 102-65 and NBA run. You have more on tap for Thursday. Absolutely. I also have some baseball, three-pack going tonight. Three-pack of baseball plays going tonight along with that NBA TV showdown. After the Spurs rolled 121-96 last night to even that series, and I guess they're, uh, they were too old, but they weren't too old for that game. That's what good coaching and good teamwork does for you. Uh, Three-team guaranteed parlay for just $29. And if you don't win, you get seven days for free. Just call my office, 866-546-9467. And, of course, always visit jimfeist.com. All right, we got an NBA, a couple of NBA games tonight. Let's take a look at the first game here in the Eastern Conference, Boston at Washington. The Celtics are, must be feeling good about themselves being up to zip, although they were fortunate to be so with that remarkable game to come back. We're taking it in overtime, but they have been unstoppable on offense. And yet here they are in the role of underdog heading out on the road. I see five to some plays on Washington at five and a half with a very high total of 219 and a half. We saw the Boston offense in these first two games really looked unstoppable. Washington didn't seem to have much defensive adjustments to them. Uh, but they did have plenty of scoring. And John Wall in the last game really couldn't do any more. 40 points, 13 assists for Washington. And yet they are down, coming home in desperation mode. They are a very talented team. Jim, number four in the Eastern seeding, as well as number five in the NBA in scoring. But can you trust Washington, the youth, and the defense? That's kind of the question tonight. Well, they're really strong at home. 33-11, and 11, great run at home. Wall is an exceptional uh, guard Beal has is, is, is been chipping in and playing very well, but Wall is at another level right now. But the guy that's at the top of his game right now is Isaiah Thomas, 53 points the other night. He's gone through hell, losing his sister and then having a tooth knocked out and had to go to the dentist and have th that fixed and then a couple other teeth fixed. And th this guy is amazing at 5'9 or 5'8 or whatever size he is. You wouldn't think that somebody could have that kind of an impact in the NBA with all the tall trees out there. Uh, but he is just absolutely incredible athlete and uh, doing it. But this is a tough spot. You got a two and O team uh, going on the road to a team that's down, and it is desperation. I lose this one; the series is over. There's no question. They're not going to come back and win four in a row. Uh, that's they're not that much stronger in order to pull that off. So this is absolute desperate time. Uh, the books are um, showing five and a half. It was five. I saw some sixes. Right now it's all five and a half everywhere. And uh, you might get some two-way action in this a little bit because the number is high. Uh, and people might think that this could be, you know, one of those games that actually is close. First two, of course, were... We're, the second one was close until the overtime, and then they got blown out by 10 in overtime. Uh, tough loss. I had the Wizards in that game plus the points, so I, that was a really tough loss. Anytime you have a dog and you lose in overtime, that's a tough one. But in any case, Boston's playing great. Number one seed, Washington the number four seed. Not that seeds matter. It's really who's playing well now. And they're both playing well, but Boston has been at another level. The question is, can they maintain that on the road against a team with a stretch run of 33 and 11 at home? That's strong, and uh, this could be a hell of a game to watch starting tonight at 5 o'clock on ESPN. Yeah, and this Washington team, they're in desperation mode too, coming home, needing to win to keep this series alive. It has been a high-scoring series, and Boston's a better defensive team than a lot of people might realize you wouldn't notice it from these first two games, but they're top 15th in the NBA in points allowed, but they're top 10 in field goal shooting defense, and they're second in the NBA in three-point field goal shooting defense. 
right behind now the Golden State Warriors. Boston, when they face a team with a home winning percentage of above 60%, they're 11 4 and 2 against the spread. They're also 12 3 and 2 under the total on the road. Washington, they, when they're working on one day of rest like they are tonight, they haven't been very good at covering 6 20 and, and 1 against the spread. However, the home team is a perfect 6 and 0 oh against the spread when these teams meet, so it really has been home cooking as we saw in the first two games when it comes to covering numbers. Well, let's move on to the uh, baseball circuit for Thursday night. Let's take a look at another Boston team. This will be the Red Sox at Fenway hosting the Baltimore Orioles. Boston a slight favorite here. We have all kinds of pitching changes for tonight's game because of what happened last night. Boston a small favorite with a high total here of anywhere from 9.5 to 10. The Orioles have had a great start to the season in April, but they've struggled the last week, a 2-4 and four run. They are delighted to be ending the seven-game road trip that they're on because the last six games... They've allowed 39 runs, and the original starter, Jimenez, had to be used in middle, in middle relief last night, pitching three innings, so they have to bring up Tyler Wilson from AAA Norfolk. He's 27 years old with an ERA of almost 5.5 in limited action. Orioles, when they face a right-handed starter, are 10-4, and four, and they're facing a Boston team that also has uh, pitching problems this game. The Red Sox ending a 10-game homestand here, but, Jim, they're just 4-4 four and four these last eight games. Well, you know, you got two teams here. They're, they both have winning records. It's early in the season. We barely just got out of April. It's a long season in baseball. Boston's 15 and 12 uh, on a two-game winning streak, and Baltimore is 16 and 10 on a two-game losing streak. Um, Boston, surprisingly, is a much uh, lower-scoring team this year. They're eight and 18 over and under. That's eight overs and 18 unders, which is not what you expect when you have the Boston, the Boston Red Sox. Uh, they are 11 and six at home, and Baltimore is eight and seven away. Uh, you know, it, this is a this is a tough one to handicap because these pitcher changes. You really don't know what you're getting when you go with these guys. Uh, Kendrick against Wilson at this point. You see, you mentioned a little bit about about Wilson. Kendrick doesn't have anything else to re really. Kyle Kendrick, that is. There's really nothing to look at there, from so it's really a roll of the dice uh, for for these guys right now, and uh, I'm I'm passing the game. Yeah, very difficult game to handicap because Boston bringing up Kyle Kendrick. I mean, this guy's a 10-year veteran. However, he hasn't been a very successful pitcher in his career. Really, he was with Colorado last year and had an ERA over six, so they let him go in Boston. Picked him up. He hasn't done very well at Triple A Pawtucket this season with the Red Sox, a one and three record, six point one, uh, six point zero ERA. Boston did come off a win yesterday, but their offense has not been clicking. And no, other than in yesterday's game, they only had six hits and they had two more errors. So Boston has uh, some problems too to be dealing with, as well as the Orioles. And head to head, keep in mind, twenty two four and two under the total when these teams play. It's not the offensive show you always expect. And the total here is very high tonight. All right, if you want to get free plays every day, it's a toll-free call. Just pick up the phone. Call us in Las Vegas at 888-294-1970. Plus, Jim, you've got a guaranteed three-teamer tonight. That's right. We've guaranteed three-teamer. Uh, that, that's a three-team guaranteed parlay for $29 or seven days are free. You can call the office at 866-546-9467. Always go to jimfeist.com for great sports betting information and you can follow me on twitter facebook and instagram at jim Fice sports uh don't forget you can sign up for baseball 4.99 for an entire month at jim plus if you want free plays on a daily basis you can sign up at just text game g-a-m-e to 25827 all right, thanks for joining us, everyone, here at ProLine Daily. Good luck with the games, everyone, and we'll see you back on Friday.